Hello and welcome to Lightworks. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the workflows required to synchronize and edit multiple camera angles in your edit. We're going to synchronize and edit the four camera angles in this concert. Let's have a look at the angles they're covering. Camera 1 is the wide shot, center stage, front of house. Camera 2 is the stage right, covering drums and bass. Camera 3 is stage left. Camera 4 is the close ups and the mid shots from the front. Often on multi-camera shoots there'll be technical challenges you need to overcome when you get to the edit. In our four camera angles we've got some problems and we're going to look at how to fix those up before and during the synchronization stage. Let's have a look at this source bin in list view. In an ideal world we'll feed all the cameras on the shoot from a central time code generator. This means when it comes to sync locking all the shots together in a multi-cam bin we just need to say synchronize to the timecode track and the job's done. We had a couple of problems on this shoot and I'll explain what they are. Camera 1, Camera 2 have received central timecode and have accurate start times 2158 2313, 2158 2313. On the stage left camera we had a problem and had to reboot the camera twice during this song. So what we've been left with is three sections with varying start times. The first shot starts 2158, 2313 as camera 1 and 2. Then we get a break from 2159 to 2159, about half a minute. And then we get another break for about 15 seconds before this last section kicks in to the end of the song. The recording setting in camera 4 wasn't switched properly, so we've ended up starting with a time code from the top of this song at 0 hours. And we've got to fix all this up and make sure things are frame accurate in our sync group. Well, let's get going and start synchronizing media. I'll just close the source viewer and return to tiles view. I've made some bins of our cameras. Camera 1 and 2 have the correct time code feeds on the source media, so let's go ahead and synchronize to those time code tracks. I'm going to make the multicam bin by right clicking in the bin, choosing make a multicam bin. We're going to give it a name. We're going to synchronize by time code. And the resulting multicam bins can have large tiles. Hit do it. The new multicam bin is created, and you can recognize a multicam bin in your content manager by the small green LED on the left hand side. I've got another one in my contact manager already. So now, if we drag and scrub, two cameras are perfectly synchronized together by the time code track. So that's camera one and two dealt with. Let's have a look at camera three, the one with the time code breaks in it. Now this camera was receiving the house time code. It simply got turned off and on again a couple of times during the song. What we're going to use is a feature called a chem roll. When we make a chem roll, a new Lightworks edit is created with the source shots placed at exactly their right positions in the timeline and with the black gaps between them where power was turned off or the recording was stopped. It's a really handy feature if you had to turn cameras on and off during a shoot and you need to ultimately synchronize them back with other cameras involved in the production. Making a chem roll is simple. Right click in the bin, choose make, chem roll. Lightworks is asking me what time code it should use to place the source shots along the chem roll edit timeline. The reference label or time code I'm going to use is the primary time code from the source shots type of chem roll I want to make will include audio and video. I want to leave the gaps where the camera was turned off actually in the chem roll. I don't want to remove any of that for the moment. Hit do it. A new edit will be created, appended brackets chem roll. I'm just going to pop that in my camera 3 bin and let's open it up and have a look. And there we go. We've got part 1 Power off, part two comes in, power off, and then part three. Perfect. By the way, when I'm right clicking in a bin or on a Lightworks panel, I'm just accessing the settings menu, and you can do that also from going to the cogs icon and access the same menu up on the top right hand corner. Through a lot of the tutorial, I'll be right clicking the Lightworks panels. Well, let's drop our chem roll into our multicam bin and see how things are shaping up. 
I scrub once more, there's the brakes. But we're now properly in sync. Camera 4, as you remember, had no master time code from the house send. Let's just drop that into the multicam bin and deal with synchronising that. OK, let's take all these cameras back to the top. Now you can see on the top right hand corner of the tiles I put a little white dot to show the sync frames. So we know camera 1 and 2 are good. Camera 3 has been set, so we know we're in the right place for that. Camera 4, however, whose time code starts at 0, is way off the mark. We need to deal with that. I'm going to bring up the settings menu, just right click on the panel, and let's just pin that here for the moment. Everything in this group is going to sync by the primary TC, but I'm going to take that from the audio track, A1. Let's deal with syncing up this shot here. What I want to do is release camera 4 from the constraints of the timecode synchronization that 1 through 3 are under at the moment, and the multicam bin in general, and we're going to modify the synchronization frame compared to what we see here. To do that, I'm going to turn on Allow Lock Frame Adjustments. Let's turn that on in the settings, and the name of the clip that's selected flashes to show that it's ready for adjustment. And we'll just pop that open to a viewer for the moment. My lock frame that I've synchronized by eye is here. And I've just dropped in a one frame graphic just to represent that. But I have been using markers on the timeline to help me synchronize. You can add a Q marker with the apostrophe key on the keyboard. So now I've got my lock frame. Everything's in order with the other cameras. And I'm going to turn off lock adjustments. In preparation for editing, so we can see things a little bit larger, let's display all the viewers from the Multicam group. Lightworks will line them up across the top of your screen. And if you want to hide them, just choose Hide from the Multicam Bin Settings menu. We can move our Multicam Bin and minimize the sync group by choosing Compact in the bottom right hand corner of the frame. Let's just close up the Settings panel as well and place the sync group out of the way. I'm just going to move all the viewers to the right space how I like them. And we'll just hit play, see how we're looking. I'm going to jump to somewhere in the middle. Well that's all the shots synchronised together. In part two of this video tutorial, we'll look at different tools and techniques involved in putting the edit together. We hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.